hey guys welcome to my channel so today i'm showing you how i'm doing my salmon um stew gravy as you can see this is the salmon that i bake in my um fryer and this is my shrimp and my ghee that i'm gonna be using and that's one onion that i cut into pieces and that's my garlic and that's my onion powder i'm gonna be using and then crushed pepper fish powder which i end up not using anyway i use the tomato paste and um, paprika and season so and um maggie that's the powder maggie so in a pot i'm gonna put my four um maggies in there four of them there and then after that i'm going to empty that big bowl where i have um my five big onions and three um tomato fresh tomato slices and um habanero peppers and that's all i blended into that bowl that you see i'm gonna empty so now i'm going to empty my my one onion that i um that i cut in slices i'm gonna empty it into the pot and then after that, I'm going to give it a few minutes, make sure all the maggies are blended with the onions right there. And then I'm going to empty that big bowl where I have five big onions, three fresh tomatoes, and I think I have five or six habanero peppers. That's all I did there. And I blend it and I pour it into that big bowl. So I'm going to pour everything in here and I'm going to season it up and basically, yeah, and let everything cook down. So once, you know, the onions are almost cooked down, I'm going to empty the tomato paste into this pepper, um, pepper water, the blender that I use. I put water into the blender and then that water is what I'm actually going to use to for the tomato paste but here you will see that i'm using my crushed pepper right here and then next i think i'm using my seasoned salt yes that seasoned salt i'm using right there and then paprika right there and then garlic powder and onion powder and then i'm just gonna mix everything down and then I'm just going to cover it and let everything simmer down while I'm trying to get the tomato paste together, like I was saying. So I do my tomato paste like this because I don't like to add it, you know, raw like that. So I like to dilute it with water. And yeah, I like to dilute it with water and it gives me a different um, kind of flavor and things like that. So yeah i don't know because one time i had it like that into the um soup and it ended up not blending all the way so i don't know if you guys can relate if you do comment down below but so now i'm using this trick you know where i dilute it and then use that water so it will cook down everything to the maximum and then i know that you know <laughs> everything is cooked and everything i don't have to worry and all of that stuff so yes guys so i'm gonna like smash it into the water and let it evaporate into the water let it sit and then after that i'm going to um add that whole tomato paste uh, water thing into the pot and cook you know so that's going to be last the salmon you know it's already been uh, cooked in the fryer so that's going to be last for me to add it up. so let it, let it just sit over there and i'm going to add the shrimp okay i'm going to add my shrimp and then after that yeah i'm going to add the tomato paste now and then after that i'm going to add my shrimp yeah, I'm gonna add the shrimp, let the shrimp cook with everything else. Shrimp doesn't take long, about five minutes to cook and stuff like that. And then after the shrimp, you know, then the last thing to add is my salmon. 
yeah yeah know i like seafood yo so i'm trying to incorporate my seafood product into my african food yo. <laughs> so don't kill me y'all don't kill me but i'm trying to make everything work for me you know not every day to eat fried fish and everything so i have my fry i'm trying to use it as much as possible and you know so this is a quick thing it doesn't have to be salmon there's no bone or nothing so <laughs> i just did one two one two season it up and put it in the fryer let the fryer did the work and then after that here you go I'm ready to add, you know, my salmon fish. It, there's no bones, no nothing. So I'm going to add everything else in there. So you see, y'all? I'm going to add everything in there and stuff like that. So, and basically that's it. You know, you ain't got to worry about no bones or no bones. Because it's bones, all the fish. You got to fry the fish. You got to do all of that now. I put it in my fryer, y'all. That's the new thing that I've been doing. And it makes time really less in the kitchen. You know, season everything up. And just put it in the dryer. Let it do. Let it do, 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 do its work, y'all. Y'all see that salmon gravy? Do y'all see that? So I'm going to let that simmer down for like 10, 15 minutes. And make sure it sees not, not too much oil and everything. I like to eat food with a lot of soup, y'all. I don't know if you've been watching me for a while. You should know. So, yeah, this is how it turns out. I'm going to show you some pictures, you know, um, that I ate my um, salmon stew gravy with, y'all. With some... Um, Plantain and sweet potato and some edos. And you can also eat it with rice, which I didn't eat it with rice. I ate it. Thank you guys for watching.